25 Sexiest Things Guys Do Without Even Knowing Super Attractive Turn ONS For Women Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. Guys, listen up. There are things that you do not realize that you are doing naturally that are incredibly sexy, and you wouldn't even think of them because to you, they might be so subtle and they might sound a little bit ridiculous, but all in all, these are the many different things that you're doing that is naturally attracting women without you even realizing. Want to know more? Don't move an inch. Music. Wearing leather gloves. Obviously, this doesn't mean wearing leather gloves in the summer because you might come across as a hitman and that's not the look we're going for here. We are talking about when it gets to those cold seasons. Instead of going for the trusted woolly gloves, go for leather ones. It gives that classy look that makes you look well-dressed and, well, we find it very sexy. Speaking a second language. If you are lucky enough and you are able to speak in a second language, we women are going to find it very intelligent, and we will love it. Showing your physical strength. Now we are not talking about you doing bicep curls in front of us because yeah, that's going to be pretty cringy. However, we want you to pick up something heavy. This act of you displaying your physical strength is going to make us weak at the knees. Being protective. If you get the chance to tell a girl that you will pick her up because you don't want her walking alone at night, this is very attractive. Some guys can overstep the boundary and it can come across pretty controlling or creepy, but if you are able to reel it in and let her know that you want her to be safe, then you will definitely notice that lots more women pay attention to you. You are sexy when you are vulnerable. In every healthy relationship, the guy will have his masculine look on the exterior but on the interior, he loves hanging out with his girlfriend cuddling in bed and talking about passions and fears. And in these moments when you are able to drop that macho facade is what women find very attractive and very sexy. Exposing your forearms. That's right, rolling up your sleeves and displaying your forearms, ah, it's incredibly sexy. We find it sexy when you are cute with pets or animals. Women absolutely love seeing guys act like a father figure so if you are able to fuss a puppy or look after someone else's child for the evening this is going to make a woman see that you are capable of looking after vulnerable things which naturally would trigger our maternal instincts. Fixing or putting something together. We absolutely love seeing guys do what they do best and that is using their brain to create something in a physical way and if we get to see you put something together such as an IKEA table, putting up a shelf in a shed, or just fixing the door handle or even fixing something we broke, expect us to land a kiss on your face when you are done. Wearing cologne. Smelling good is always, I promise always going to attract so many ladies so it's always worth finding out your signature scent by trying different ones. You are best off going to a beauty counter and asking the ladies behind their counter and just get them to pick out a fragrance that is fit for you and your personality. Making noise in the bedroom. Radio silence, ah, it's not sexy. We want to know that you are enjoying yourself and having a great time so being just a little bit vocal lets us know that we are not doing the bedroom dance with a puppet. Cooking. We find it sexy when we get to watch a man cook. It could be chopping the vegetables, stirring a soup around a pan. It's very sexy and even more so when we see you fling a towel over your shoulder and panic a little bit about trying to get everything ready at the same time. Playful banter. You will come across very sexy and highly attractive if you are able to banter with another lady. She will see you as confident, she knows that you are great at flirting because that's what banter is and it makes her want to think about you in suggestive ways. We love it when you are being kind. If you get the chance to go out of your way to help someone else it makes us feel that you're a high quality catch. Picking up trash off the floor, helping someone carry something across the car park, the possibilities to display your kindness, well, they are endless and it's really going to let that lady feel that she has the best person ever. We find it sexy when you get lost in your conversations. We love it, we admire you when you are talking about something and you are really nerding out about it. When he's getting lost in his passion and he is super pumped about the thing he's talking about, we find it very attractive. Holding on to a hug. If a girl hugs you and she goes to pull away but you say no I want this to last a little bit longer, well, this is going to make us very, very weak at the knees. Saying our name when you speak. When you are talking with us, doesn't matter what type of conversation, if you have the opportunity to drop our name at the end of a sentence, this is going to melt our hearts. And it can be something simple for example did you have a good week this week, Pamela Raquel? When you take something simple and make it serious. So let me break this down with an example so you understand. 
let's pretend that a lady has caught you getting irate with teammates, you're playing a game and you have to all come up with a plan so you guys can tackle the boss level. This is really sexy. Sometimes catching us out for things. For example, if you've just mopped the floor downstairs in the kitchen and then we unwillingly walk across the floor and leave footprints on the floor, you would get all huffy and puffy because well we've just undone your hard work and there's something about it that's really sexy. Being supportive in our times of need. When we are stressed about something no matter how big or little we are angry about something or upset when you are able to stop what you are doing to just come over and hug us or even to ask us to talk about it over the phone it makes us feel more attracted to you. Strong eye contact. Maintaining eye contact for more than 3 seconds is going to elicit good hormones around the brain the type of hormones that is going to make us easily get into that sexy frame of mind and think things about you. Putting your arm on the headrest. You know this one when you are reversing your car if you put your arm on the headrest when you look out the back window wow this is just incredibly sexy and you know I can't really give you a full explanation of why just keep doing what you're doing. Parallel parking along the lines of cars. We love it when you are able to parallel park without any effort at all. If you can just slam the car into a really tight parking space, well it's going to have us thinking about you in a very inappropriate way. Removing your t-shirt but from the back. So let me break this down instead of taking your t-shirt off by crossing your arms and pulling it over your head if you pull the t-shirt from the back and over your head this is just really sexy. This one might be a little bit ridiculous to you but simply just running your hands through your hair it's incredibly sexy because it makes us feel that you are thinking hard about something and like I said before we just admire you when you are thinking about something you are very passionate about. Pulling us closer when you are sleeping. Everyone likes to be the little spoon but I think women really do prefer it so when you are sleeping even when you don't realize this when you pull us in closer for a bear hug in the middle of the night we absolutely love it. Forehead kisses. Even if you don't understand just do it give us lots of forehead kisses and we will be putty in your hands. Your sleepy voice. That's right crazy I know but talking to us with that just woken up sleepy voice drives us wild. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word 100% or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Body language women use to flirt with guys slash 15 female signs of attraction you don't want to miss. Learning about a woman's body language is the first step to understanding ladies. Men often study a lady's body language so that they can tell if they like them or if they are flirting with a guy. Once you are in a relationship, understanding a lady's body language also helps you to interpret her moods, which is very important to a lady. And if you are wondering, does she like me? Well, it's time to learn about how women use their body language to flirt with guys so you will be clued up and instantly know if a lady is interested. Traditionally, ladies will be shy with their body language when they first meet someone. They might make themselves appear smaller on purpose until they warm up to you. And learning about body language will give you the tools to fully understand women. The first thing to notice is a tilting of the head, and it's very, very subtle. A lady will tilt her head to show you that they are listening and really taking it in. Women specifically do this when they are speaking to someone with authority, which they could feel is you. If she is flirting with you, she might feel as though you have the upper hand. It makes her feel a little bit vulnerable. Ladies also like men to feel that they are in control, so this is a way of showing men that the lady is being a little bit submissive with the head tilt. If you are out on a date and you notice that she's tilting her head while she speaks to you, this may be a sign that she's flirting with you. You're gonna notice lots and lots of smiling. Smiling is a form of body language, and if you are speaking to a lady that you like and she keeps smiling at you, this is her flirting. If it is paired with a head tilt and hair flicking and playing with her purse, she is most definitely flirting. I once went on a date with a guy recently, and we didn't even have to tell each other that we liked each other. I was kind of smiling from ear to ear, and the guy naturally knew that I was interested in him. Look out for the nodding of the heads that I has and making sure that she lets you know she's very much in tune to what you say. Nodding during a conversation is another way that ladies flirt. They are going to nod while you are talking so that you know that we really are interested in what you have to say. And it's also a way of them encouraging you to keep talking. Ladies like it when a guy leads the conversation, so nodding is their way of telling you to just keep doing what you're doing, take charge, and that they are well and truly flirting with you. They are going to subtly lean in towards you. Ladies will lean towards you while you are speaking and while they are speaking. If they are flirting back, they are going to lean into you as well. 
You might notice that when you are chatting about something and suddenly the lady is getting closer to you, looking into your eyes, it's her way of showing you that she is interested and is flirting. She might also lean towards you while she is walking. So if you keep bumping elbows, keep an eye out because this is a type of flirting body language. Look out for the hand gestures. Women are very, very, very expressive. They speak with their hands when they are excited, and I'm very self-conscious right now because I know I speak with my hands. So I want to just keep them under my armpits. When a lady uses hand gestures, she is expressing her emotion. She is trying to take control of the situation, and she wants to be taken seriously. So if you guys are on a date and she's using hand gestures to animate a conversation, she's flirting with you through her body language. You will notice lots of eye contact. Eye contact is a major form of flirty body language. If a lady is looking straight at you, into your eyes while you speak, or you catch her looking at you from across the room, she's flirting with you. And if you like her as well, make sure to maintain eye contact with her. She's going to be reading your body language just like you are reading hers. Plus, eye contact is very, very sexy. Pay attention to the eye blinking. That's right, very subtle but very powerful. You might notice that sometimes ladies blink their eyes a lot, and this is a type of body language that they use when they are flirting. It might be off-putting sometimes, but just remember, it's something ladies do when they are flirting. They don't even realize they are doing it, it's just a natural thing their body goes through. Licking or biting their lips. When a lady really wants you to kiss her or when she is thinking about kissing you, she will draw attention to that area. She will lick or bite her lips, and it's quite a sexual way of flirting, and it means that she most definitely likes you. She might slightly lick her lips when she's listening to you talk. This is her way of drawing your attention to the lips. When she bites her lips, she is normally picturing you both kissing. So if you notice she is biting her lips, go in for the kiss, and she will be so impressed that you knew that she wanted you to kiss her. The hair flip. Ladies will flip their hair when they are flirting. This is something that, you know what, it's so subconscious that sometimes I don't even realize that I'm doing it. And the reason for this is to show off this part of the neck. It's a sexy part of the body, very vulnerable, a little bit submissive, and hair flicking is something a lady is going to do only around a guy that she is attracted to. Pay attention to those raised eyebrows. Now, I raise my eyebrows when I am really interested in something that someone is saying or if I'm flirting with someone. It's a very subtle body language technique that you will need to study to really understand this one. But when you do notice it, you will notice it on everyone, and it will get really annoying. You might notice that while you are speaking, her eyebrows are slightly raised or when she's laughing, that might happen too. When paired with some of the other types of body language mentioned in the video, wow, this is a very, very good sign. She's going to be slightly blushing. This one could be difficult, as ladies do wear blusher now. So she might just always look flushed. But if you were to go on a walk and you notice she's bare face, take note of her cheeks. Is she blushing while she speaks to you? If so, it's a major sign that she's a little taken aback, she's attracted, and she wants you to flirt. If you notice this, you will know it's time to make your move, buddy. The feet pointing. Very easy to spot. If you guys work together or you take classes together, both men and women point their feet at the thing that they are most attracted to. We do this automatically that we don't even think about it. So make sure to look at her feet under the table. And if they are pointing towards you, awesome. But make sure you do this without her noticing though because she might feel like you're one of those guys that has those fetishes if you make it too obvious. Speed of movement. Yeah, this one's a little bit weird, but take note of how fast the lady you are on a date with is actually moving. If she's moving around really quickly, it could be that she's a little bit nervous. If she's moving very slowly, it's probably because she feels comfortable in your company, which is a good sign. If she's moving quickly, try and make her feel comfortable. Maybe say, are you as nervous as I am? She will laugh, and then you will notice that she starts to move even more slowly as she starts to relax. Touching you. When she is making hand gestures, she might touch your arm or your shoulder. She's breaking that boundary, leaning over and saying, hey, I'm connecting with you. And then she might touch you. This is her showing you she's interested, she wants to be close, but she wants to make it clear she's flirting without being too creepy. So return her touch by brushing her arm with your hand or placing a hand on her thigh, providing you know you are both flirting with each other. It would drive her wild, 
and she would be super excited. The next one on the list is mirroring. Does she pick up her glass when you pick up yours? If so, this is called mirroring, and we do it when we are around people that we like. We pick up the slang that they use, we might even change our tone of voice to match theirs. It's natural, and it's kind of cute. If you notice that your lady is doing this and you're wondering, does she like me? Well, the big answer is yes, yes, yes. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Girls who are completely into you will do this. You need to spot these. Have you ever asked yourself, is she into me? It's so common, you know. Women often keep their cards close to their chests. They would prefer you to make the first move rather than them, which can make it very difficult for you guys because it's hard to actually tell if someone likes you, especially if she is just playing along with what you are saying. And women are just, I apologize guys, so hard to read unless you know what to look for. And in this video, we are going to learn about some of the signs that show she is completely into you. And after this video, gentlemen, you will understand women a little bit better and be able to tell when she's really into you. Music. She will spend her time with you. If a girl agrees to go on multiple dates with you, it's because she likes you. And if she tries to spend some time with you as often as possible, well, she really does care. Ladies will only spend time with men that they really like. They won't waste their time because, well, they are busy. So if you have been on three dates and she's already hinting at another one, she is most definitely into you. And if you notice that this keeps happening, you can rest easy in the knowledge that she does like you. And when you make your move, well, let's face it, gents, you won't be rejected. Responding to messages. If you message her, I just saw a dress and I thought that would look great on you, and she replies a few moments later saying, ah, that is so cute. What did it look like, with plenty of emojis, she is into you. If she replies to your messages regularly and messages you first sometimes, she really does like you. If a girl does not reply to your messages or ghosts you, cuts you off, well, cut your losses because she doesn't like you. She pays attention. If she pays attention and is engaged in perfect conversation, this is a great sign. It shows that she is interested in you and is very much into you. She might show you this via her body language or just by taking part in the conversations. She will ask you questions or ask you to elaborate on what you are talking about, and this shows that she is invested in you. She laughs. Ladies will never laugh at someone they don't like, remember that. The issue with this sign is that it does include friends, so make sure that she is also doing some of the other signs from today's video. And if you are talking and she finds your jokes funny, she probably is into you. Unless you are a comedian because most people are averagely funny. If the person you like is making the joke though, you will find it hilarious, let's face it. And if she keeps laughing during the conversation and smiling, she probably is into you. Touching you. Touch is so important when it comes to dating. When someone touches you, even if it's a quick touch of the arm, it means there is possible attraction and sexual attention. If she touches your arm slightly or the top of your leg, she is trying to show you that she is into you. So watch out for this sign. She posts a picture of you on social media. If you are on a date and she takes a photo with you then uploads it onto Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, it's a sign that she is into you and wants other people to know it too. I only do this when I am really sure that I like someone and normally want to have a long-term relationship with them. I might post a picture of my food but they will be in the background or post a video of those guys dancing on my stories. It's my way of saying, hey everybody, I'm seriously into this gentleman. My friends always instantly message me and say things like, oh my god, who is he? He's attractive. And that way, I get their reaction on the guy that I am seeing. So if a girl posts you on her social media, well buddy, she's very serious about you. Body language. If she is displaying some of the following types of body language, then guys, she is very much into you. Let's talk about eye contact. Do you catch her eyes across the room? Do you notice that she is really looking at you when you guys are talking? It's because she is trying to connect with you and trying to elicit some flirting techniques. Smiling. If she is smiling a lot and just looks really happy when she's around you, it's because, well, she is. 
She is showing you that she is having the best time and is really enjoying your company. You will see her moving closer into you. If you are talking and she leans closer to you, it's because she wants to be closer with you. She wants less physical space between the both of you because she wants you to squeeze in and touch her. Open body language. Close body language like this is when someone has their arms folded or is just a little bit stiff. But open body language is when a lady has loose limbs. She has her shoulders apart, her arms are down, she looks pretty relaxed. This is because she is comfortable around you and feels safe, which is good. Playing with the hair. The lady is playing with her hair, flicking and twirling it. She is trying to impress you and to seriously attract you. Sometimes she may reveal her neck, which is her way of sexually attracting you. So make sure to watch her body language and look out for these instant telltale signs. She seems nervous. Do you get nervous when you are around someone that you really like? Well, the same goes for the ladies. If they are around someone that they have a crush on, they will feel slightly nervous. You might notice that her voice is a little shaky or she's fidgeting a lot. It's because she is nervous that she might say or do the wrong thing. This is the perfect time to reassure her or make her feel more comfortable. That way, you both have a great time together and she will really appreciate you doing that for her. And you will know that she is into you. It's a win-win, guys. Connection. When a girl is into you, she tries to find things that can connect you both on a similar topic. She might ask you where you grew up and then realize that she went on holiday there or that's where her favorite restaurant is. She might ask what school you went to and she might say, I know someone who went there. She's going to ask questions because she's interested in you and wants to know more. And it's also because she is checking for those subtle connections. Your lady wants to know if you have things in common as this is the basis of a great relationship. And if you notice that she is asking questions like, what's your favorite movie, and then she has the same movie, this is her finding things that connect with you. Sometimes, gentlemen, you can be very oblivious to this tip. It could be that you talk about a movie that you have seen, maybe it wasn't a movie that you would highly rate, yet the girl in question will say, wow, I saw that movie too. I thought it was amazing. And then every time you see her, she starts to bring out catchphrases from that movie and it leaves you scratching your head thinking, what is she doing? And there she has found that connection and she's continuing to talk about that movie even though she doesn't realize you didn't like it. And there you go, that is her creating building blocks to elicit a relationship. Gentlemen, make your move. If you start to notice the signs from today's video and you have that gut feeling that a lady feels the same way about you that you do for her, then you need to take that risk and tell her how you feel. She will most likely feel the exact same way but was waiting for you to make the first move. And she really will love that you took that risk and you can watch that relationship just blossom from there. Now, I once had a friend who was in a semi-relationship with the guy. He was displaying all the right signs and she was trying so hard to make the connections with this guy. She was always available, always replied to his messages quickly. But he never made the first move. And then eventually she got a little bit upset and asked him, how do you actually feel? It turns out he did like her but by the time she got to asking, she had lost some of those initial feelings and that relationship never actually worked. And we always wonder what would have happened if he had picked up on her signs and if he did make the first move. So keep that in mind, gentlemen. I hope that this video has given you the tools to look out for the signs that she is completely into you. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. 23 fastest ways to make any girl have a crush on you, do not skip this dating gold. Do you fall fast for girls, but then you actually struggle to make them like you back? Perhaps you even doubt yourself and feel like you are suffering from that terrible thing called imposter syndrome. Now it's completely normal to be scared of talking to girls, let alone getting them to actually like you back, but there are just a couple of things that you can do to get them to crush on you quickly. In today's video, we are going to look at 20 of the fastest ways to make a girl like you. Now, it is possible for a girl to fall quickly for a guy, but the guy needs to do the right thing at the right time for this to work. I have put together some insider tips that will help you bag that girl. So, it's time for you to learn some of the most effective ways to win over your crush. Stay tuned. Tip number one, 
you need to help out the lady without her asking for help. And it's such a simple process to do. You get to ask a lady how you can help her. Perhaps she is moving home or she needs some help with the shopping. By naturally being there, she will see you as a supportive person, someone that she can actually depend on, which is perfect boyfriend material. But don't force your help onto her. If there is something that she needs, you can offer it. So, keep an eye out for those times where you feel she would really do with an extra hand. Make eye contact first. No matter if you are walking down the hallway and catch her eye, or if you guys are on a date, make eye contact a priority. It sends signals to the lady in her brain that you are interested in her, which will make her stop and think, do I ever crush on him? Maintaining eye contact helps to increase our sexual attraction and gets the sparks flying. Say hello. Saying hello, pretty simple, right? But it's amazing how often we actually forget to do it. So, if you do have your eye on a lovely lady, make sure that when you walk past, you do say hello. Maybe the lady's in your office, maybe you work in the same warehouse together. Say hello when you spot her. Whenever you do this, it's going to get her thinking about you. It lets her get curious to develop a crush so that she can actually figure something out about you before you ask her out on a date. Simple yet effective. Stand up straight. Make sure, gents, you focus on your posture. If you guys are on a date together, don't slump while you are standing and hunch over a table. Sit or stand up straight, look the lady in the eyes, because this is something that ladies naturally clock and it makes you appear more attractive. It's so easy but brilliant, which means obviously they're going to fall for you much faster. Discover interests that you both share. Start discovering the interests that you both share. Ask the lady questions that relate to your personal interests too. For example, do you like playing Call of Duty, or, do you like to hike? This way, she can tell you what she's interested in, and if you guys do have a match, wow, that's something that you can talk about. And when you have this information, you can use it to your advantage. For example, should we go on a hike together at the weekend? You get to spend more time together doing things, which means she's going to start falling for you a lot quicker. Surprise her. This one might come after you have had at least one date. You could take her on a surprise date or surprise her with flowers. Ladies love surprises, nice ones, and they really like it if they can see that you are being thoughtful. They will be head over heels about you in no time. Be confident. If you are constantly nervous around her, she won't get to know the real you. Confident people are naturally more attractive and more interesting. So when you are around her, be the most confident version of yourself. Don't be obnoxious, but try to be confident. This will really help you stand out in the crowd. A very important tip, this one. Please guys, don't friend zone yourself. Friend zoning, ah, it's the worst. You invest so much time into someone that you really like, only for it to just remain a friendship. Now, the way that you get around this is to flirt with her and hold consistent eye contact. You need to elicit sexual interest to show her that you mean business. Work on self-grooming. There is nothing worse than a messy man. Ladies love it when men get to look after themselves. So make sure you are cleanly shaved, your hair is cut nice, and you look after your skin. Wear cologne if you really do want to create an impression and attract the girl because cologne is just like a magnetizing power. When women smell it, we can't help but follow the scent and go, is he attractive? Do I like him? We can't help it. Let her miss you. Make sure there is some space between you both. Let her really miss you. If you are always together and always talking, well then she can't miss you. Absence makes the heart grow fonder and all that jazz. You know, so make yourself just a little bit more hard to get, and it will work in your favor. Dress nicely. Just like it's very important to self-groom, it's also important to dress nicely. Because when you dress well, you make yourself look more attractive and you will feel more confident. If you turn up to a fancy dinner in a suit, the girl will have a crush on you instantly. Monitor your body language. Please take note of your body language. Don't have closed off body language. If you can keep it open and maintain eye contact, you might want to use flirty body language to indicate that you want that relationship to go a little bit further. But make sure you do keep it flirty and you don't friend zone yourself, but you're not too over the top with sexual behavior because she won't like that too. Make her laugh. One of the fastest ways to a girl's heart is food, but also making her laugh. So if you make her laugh, she's going to think that you are extra attractive and interesting. 
And the girl might also think about your future relationship and think, well, if he makes me laugh now, that means our relationship will always be fun. Try to impress her. If you can impress her with some facts or some fun things that you know, this is going to make her think about you when you're not together. Don't focus on being ignorant or obnoxious though. Just enlighten her with some witty facts. It really will impress her. You could impress her with a gesture like having a glass of wine ready for her at dinner before she arrives. Be a gentleman. Not everyone is a gentleman anymore, so make sure that you are that exact person she is dreaming about. Pull out her chair when she gets in, open the door for her, just be very polite and respectful whenever you are talking to her. This is going to put you miles ahead of the other guys who are more focused on just themselves. Be reliable. Do not be a pushover, but be reliable and be there for the girl when she needs you. If you arrange a date, then be there at the right time. Don't pull out last minute unless it's an important reason like something to do with work or family. But then make up for it. Be there for her if she's having a bad day. Generally, just be around when she needs you. Compliment her. Make sure to give her some genuine compliments. You could compliment her dress or her hair. She will love that you have taken notice of the effort that she has put in. So, it's always nice to compliment a lady, and she's going to take these compliments on board and think about them when she's not with you. She will quickly develop a crush on you if she's not already attracted to you, that is. Make fun of yourself. Now, this one can be difficult because I don't want you to self-deprecate yourself and don't put yourself down just for humor. It's very low value. But making fun of yourself a little though can make you a little bit more fun and funny at the same time. So, let me give you an example. I'm so silly, I always forget to do that. Or if you were to trip over something, you can say, I just had a lovely trip. So, try to use puns and a little bit of humor that doesn't downgrade yourself. Don't treat her like a friend. Sometimes it can seem easier to treat someone like a friend so that you can form a relationship. If you start by treating her just as a friend, she will think that is all you have to offer. So, make sure you flirt with her just a little bit and make it clear that you do like her. Do not be late. Never be late. The latest you can be is 10 minutes early. Being late makes it look like you don't care or that the date is not important enough. So, act like you really care and always be on time. Ask her about her friends. Show an interest in her life beyond you. Ask about her friends and take an interest in them. Don't ask on the first date because she's gonna bring it up naturally. Wait until a few dates in and then ask about them. Try to bring up conversations that she has spoken about so she knows that you are serious about her friends. She will love this and start falling deeper for you. Focus on her and only her. When you are in her company, don't focus on anything else. Don't go on your phone or look at something else because it's so rude. If we are on a date and a guy is kind of just looking around the restaurant, he's scrolling on his phone, you just feel so invisible and it does not want to make ladies go on a second date with you. So, make sure that you focus on her when you are in her presence. Ask her out. Finally, guys, if you do like her and you think the girl has a crush on you, then ask her out. Look, it's a risk but it could have a huge reward.